The AVIC 8000 Next features built-in Bluetooth for both hands-free calling and wireless streaming audio. Let's take a look at some of the Bluetooth settings under the Bluetooth phone menu. So there's a couple of ways to get there. We could touch the uh, phone menu here and touch the gears right there, or we can just touch the gear button up here and we can go to the Bluetooth settings here. So first up is our connection settings, and here we can connect to another phone this way, or we could uh, delete uh, a phone that's already been connected into the system. We'll go back. Next up is Auto Connect, and uh, Auto Connect right now is on. We can switch that off, and Auto Connect will automatically reconnect to the phone after it's been paired to the device. So you have to pair the device first with Auto Reconnect on, uh, on. The radio and the phone will find each other and repair when you come back to your car. Next is visibility. If you want Auto Connect to work and to easily be able to connect to other phones, keep the visibility on. You can switch that off if you want to. Next up is our PIN code. And most modern phones don't require a PIN code to connect to the 8000. But if you have a phone that needs a PIN code, you can input the PIN code there or you can change the PIN code to a different number here if you'd like to. Next up is our device information. And here you can see the name of the device. You could look, look for AVIC 8000 next when you're connecting from your phone and it's a Bluetooth address. Next up is auto answer. Right now auto answer is turned off. If you want, you can have the system automatically answer phone calls for you uh, every time the phone rings. Next up is our ringtone inside the car. Uh, you can choose to have the ringtone on or off. And next is invert name. Uh, it comes in very handy sometimes with some phones to be able to invert the names in the phone book so that they have first name last or last name first. You can choose that here. Next up is our Bluetooth memory clear function. We can choose to clear all of the memory out of the Bluetooth system and sort of start over with it. Then we have our Bluetooth software update. If there's an update to the software, you can start that, initiate that process of updating the software right here. And last is our Bluetooth version information that tells you what type of version for Bluetooth that we're using.